Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now I know there's been a big ruha ha about hauls uh, this past month but I'm still going to do mine because I've got a few things I want to share with you. Some of them are very cheap, some of them are a bit more expensive so as always supplies first. Now as you can see here I have a big box of markers. This is the 144 set of Arteza Everblend markers that come in this box and they come in these little sections that you can pull out so I don't keep them like that obviously I store them the other way up they're just like that for now so I could show them these were on offer um, on the website for 88 quid and I already had something like 12 pounds off from stuff I bought from the site before so you do get like loyalty points when you buy from the Arteza website so I used those points against this so it took the price down for me to like 72 quid or something or 70 quid about 70 something I don't know I can't remember I'm just going to put them out of the way somehow and then I'll put them back under the desk where they live afterwards right I had a few art supplies in Aldi's this week and I did buy a couple of bits I bought some more of these I'm sure I've got these I'm sure I got them last time that they were in bright highlighters just put it in that and the chisel tip permanent uh, pastel ones so your chisel tip permanent uh, bright and pastels and they're really nice actually they, they do kind of really nice they're great for patterns and bigger patterns and things like that they're all right to use they're not too bad so they, I don't know how much they're only cheap I spent £25 in Aldi and I bought food as well so just stick them in my surprise box. They also have some watercolour pencils. Um, they're these. They're only, what's it, 12 in a set? But I thought, you know, I like watercolour pencils if I gave them a go. Colours are alright. There isn't a white. There's a red, a pink, a couple of greens, a couple of blues, a beige or brown, light brown, black, yellow, orange, and so on. But do you know what? I don't, I don't mind. Worth having a try. I mean, I like anything like this just to, to mess around with. So that's that. Now, I had another voucher from work. So I bought some more Pro Markers, some more Windsor and Newton Pro Markers. I'll show you which ones I got. So the first set I bought was the Brush Tip um, Skin Tone Set, set one. Now I'm not worrying about whether I get, excuse me, the um, Brush Tip or, or the normal um, which is a Bullet Nib. It doesn't bother me. I'm just trying to get all the colours. Um, some colours are available in both and some colours aren't. Most of them are available in the, in the, oh, the bullet nib. But there are some, I think there's 72 in the brush. So I just pick up whichever ones I can get and they were like a tenner, I think. They weren't that much. But those six nice colours as well. So there's some more of those. So that's great. And then I bought... There should be another set somewhere. I know there should be another set somewhere. Where have they gone? I have, I'm sure I had them. I'll have a look for them in a minute. Um, set two of the skin tone markers, but these are literally just the, oh, they're on the bed. The um, normal uh, bullet nibs and obviously the chisel tips, but that's the others. So I'm happy with that. So I've got all the skin tones now and I, I've been looking at them, deciding what ones to use. <clears throat> But yeah, I really like them. They lay down nicely. I can't wait to, to colour with them. We're going to do a, a colour with them uh, later. Then I got the manga set as well. Manga set two, this is. There are some duplicates in these um, packets. I've got a couple of, of some of them. A henna is one, I think. Uh, cool Grey 4, I believe, is another one. Odd ones, but um, I'm not worrying about that later. And you do get a blender in most of the packs as well, which is great. So loads of, mar of alcohol marker blenders, and I do use them as a blender on pencils to smooth it out and make it look really nice, as you know. So I'm going to sort sort them all out. Now I've got these lot, and uh, yeah, so there's some nice colours in there. And then the last set of pro markers I got came in a case, and this is a 24 set. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see the okay, case. Sorry about all the stuff on my desk. It's been a busy week this week. And there's 24 sets. Again, there's a couple I've got. There isn't a blender in this one, but that's fine because I've got loads of blenders. I think I've got five blenders. 
just with the Pro Marker, so that's really cool. Um, so you've got a good selection of brights in there, it's really nice. So I'm looking forward to colouring a picture with them fairly shortly. Now that, that's all the supplies, I didn't go mad on supplies this month, there wasn't a lot. Obviously I, I did get the uh, Pro Markers are expensive enough as you know. Um, and the little bits from Aldi, and of course the Everblends, right onto the books, there's a lot of books, and a big folder thing, right. First of all I'm going to go through the, um, the Ava Brown books, now the PDF ones, these ones are sent to me free by the company, the reason being is I'm in something called the Ava Brown launch team, which means they send me a link to a PDF copy of every book a few days before it comes out, and I print them off, I have a look through them and I go and review them on Amazon. Um, I've got a bulk review of lots of them to do and then I colour a couple of pages or I colour a page. They come out with them like one a week. Last week they brought out two and then I post them on my Instagram and their, their site. So I'm just going to, I just put a new battery in and it's halfway empty already, show you the ones I got from Ava Brown. So we got Rustic Autumn Scenes. So again, some of them are just really nice autumn scenes. Like so, <laughs> we got some with pumpkins. I know there is one with a, a pumpkin with a smiley face, so it's kind of a Halloween one. I like that one, I think that's really cute. That one, and the scarecrow. So, I'll be colouring in that one this month because I'm going to be colouring as many Halloween related books as I can. I don't know where to put this lot now. And then Oh dear me, the amount of books they've come out with. I'm not complaining because I really like them. And this one I know I'm going to colour in. I've just got to find the end or the beginning of it. There it is. That's the next one. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is called Secret Village Halloween. Oh, no, I can get to that's it. Um, so this is a Halloween book. Um, I love Halloween books. I've pulled my Halloween books or my horror books out ready to colour in for, for October. So this is the little mice village and they're celebrating uh, so when or Halloween as we call it. There's some really nice cute <laughs> little mice with the, the cauldron <laughs> and so on. I think I'll probably colour a couple of these. I like this one. I like this one. So yeah, so that's a really nice book. Secret Village Halloween. These are actually in reverse order of when they've come out. So Rustic Autumn is out this weekend. I think it's five, it might even be six, I'm not sure. Five, I think. No, six actually. I'm not sure anymore. There's so many of them, it might be six. Looking at it. Uh, I mean, just, I'm just trying to get the cover of the next one off. The next one is Autumn Gnomes. So again, it's all autumn and rustic autumn pictures, but this is with the gnomes in it, which is cute. Look at that gnome. So, look at them. So yeah, I do. I do want to colour in some of these as well. So that is autumn gnomes. That's number three. Yeah, number four. There must be five, six this month. Oh my gosh. Um, let me just get to the end of this one. The next one they put out is. Uh, Gothic. This one, I like this sort of thing. My battery's run out already. I literally have only just put it in the camera. I'm really annoyed. Let me go find another one. Okay, so this is Gothic. Let's have a look. I just missed a couple of pro markers. I'll show you them after I've done this, this set of books. So this is all Gothic style pictures. Another good one for Halloween. Gonna try and colour in this one as well. So it's gothic. Then we got there's just so many. Secret Village Autumn. So again, this is another autumn one. This is Secret Village. So again, it's the mice. And they're doing all sorts of autumny things. So you know that it's all those acorns there. You know it's going to be uh, autumn colours, which is nice. 
So at the moment I am keeping all of these out because they're all Halloween autumn related that I can do some pictures in. The last uh, one that Ava Brown sent me in uh, September was a Secret Garden Gnomes. So I'll show you this. So again, these are just the gnomes in their gardens. So they're still nice ones. More summery than autumn-y. Still some cute pictures that I might colour. I like that one. And he's got a frog. God knows what they're catching then. Um, is that a cat? Up there? A big S is a cat asleep on the trunk of the tree. So that's a Secret Garden Gnome. So those are all the Ava Brown books that I got uh, in September. Um, just before we go on to next, I did get two other Promarks. I forgot to show you. I got two of the metallics. I got the silver and the gold. <laughs> I do apologise for forgetting them. Okay, so... <clears throat> Colour in Heaven for that month was the Ink House Special. I didn't get round to doing a flip through this one just simply because I just haven't had the time. I've been so busy. As you can see, it is just pictures from the book The Ink House. I'll be honest, it's not a book that's actually appealed to me that much. I will colour in this. I quite like that one of them in the tub. But it's just not something that grabs me. And I like the foxes. I like foxes anyway, so. So don't hate on me it's just not my kind of thing I picked up uh, the big book of Halloween and autumn colouring 100 pages by Molly Harrison so this contains Halloween fantasy colouring book from 2018 Halloween and autumn 2019 Halloween 2015 and spooky cute whimsical world series 2017 so it's four books uh, contains pictures from four books I love these pictures by Molly Harrison. I can't wait to get colouring with either pens, pencils, you know, alcohol markers in this book. I love these girls and I love her, her style. I haven't done a Molly Harrison for a while, but I have done one this year. Some cute ones there, look. Absolutely stunning. Looking forward to doing a few pages in that, I hope. I've got the Relax With Art Holiday Special Halloween. Obviously, I'm not going to pass up the Halloween one. I love Halloween. So there's all sorts of halloween -y pictures in here. Trick-or-treating. Crystal ball. Fortune teller. I like that one. Another crystal ball. That's quite a good one. But yeah. Another Halloween book there. Really love this. Halloween, I love colouring Halloween pictures. I've already got some to show you. I picked up Retro Deco uh, colouring book by Carla Magana and I did see this on Chelsea's channel before she deleted it, so it's so cute. I still haven't coloured anything in Hot Tropics either, so I know I have to. Absolutely stunning. I, I do like some of this, the start work like that. I really like that one. It's just that it's an interesting style. Like I say, my style changes every every month. I find something that I wouldn't have coloured before that I want to colour now. And I love that about it. You can learn. Jade Summer Country Autumn. So this is one of their books they put out recently. This has got pictures by Alexandra Frances and Joshua Dunbar. As usual, all the landscape ones are at the back haven't done a flip through this either and then all the upright the portrait ones they're at the front fantastic Jay Tubber put out a couple of Halloween books here's the first one easy Halloween book this one I think was by Josh Dunbar so it's, again it's 50 pages now instead of 25 with duplicates and you've got sideways and uprights landscapes and portraits love this little house so yeah you can use markers or pencils alcohol markers it's just so cute look at that so that's the easy coloring book from jade summer got relax with art issue 84 now i don't go into the shop enough to pick these up because i can only get these from tesco and i don't go there every week again some nice autumnal pictures coffee and a good idea Oh, coffee is always a good idea. Not to me, I don't like coffee, but that's me. And then little patterns. 
cute little female builder there. Little Kit Kat. Now I did get up, get uh, Sashi and Sash Diva stained glass Egyptian designs because if you know me, you know I love anything Egyptian. I've done one in here, so I'm not going to show you that one. But these are absolutely amazing. I will be colouring this again this month, even though it's not Halloween related. There probably is a mummy one in here, <laughs> potentially. But uh, this is my kind of book. If anything to do with Egypt, I love it. It's the only reason I bought it. Like I said, I've got a few colour by numbers, but I'm not big on them. But this one, I had to have. I've got Bizarrely Beautiful by Deborah Muller. This is one of her more recent ones. Again, I've done a page in here. Again, it's quite a Halloween-y, spooky book. So, my plan for Halloween is to actually try and colour in books I haven't coloured in. That's a cover. So that's uh, another one I got this time, which is uh, Deborah Muller's Bizarrely Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Then there's uh, the second Jade Summer book. This one is just by Ast um, Francesca Alexandra Frances. I can never get her name right. And this is cute and spooky. Again, it is gorgeous and sweet with cute little Halloween pages. You know. I, I've seen some really nice ones done out of this uh, book. Can't wait to have a go. I have done one in here, but I can't wait to have a, another go. Do some more. I love Halloween. And from Aldi, I picked up something called Mind Waves. This is in a folder. It's a pack of pencils. So you've got 12 metallic pencils and, and normal, pens normal pencils as well. And in it is a book of calming colouring. Paper's all right. And it's things like shells and, and very zen doodly fish. So that's quite nice. I thought I'd add it to the collection. If, if I don't use it, I'm pretty sure Jennifer will like it. And she can have the pencils anyway. If it's in a folder. I will probably take it out of the folder at some point. It's going to take up a lot of space. I also picked up one of the Disney colouring pads. And they only had this one left because... Uh, there wasn't much left when I went. It's a watercolour pad and it's Disney Classics Bambi. So it's literally, you get two of each um, image of scenes from Bambi. It's really nice. And I thought, doesn't hurt to have a go, it is it? Oops, I'll be right back a second. Okay, then I got another Jade Summer one. This is their most recent book, with Positive Vibes, uh, well, po Positive Quotes. I've been colouring in this one as well, it's all curly. So, um, who was this one done by? This was done by Alexandra Frances. So, I quite like this. I'm not big on the word ones, but I quite like this one. There's some really nice ones. In here, so like I said, I am colouring on one and in them. So there's a, a few of the images that have been coloured. Again, there's a load of these on the Jade Summer site already. I haven't finished that though, so that's got to go with my... I've got to finish that next week. While I'm doing my whips. I brought the Peter Rabbit camera book. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw this one on Reading with Pugs years ago. She got it. And Jennifer loves Peter Rabbit. So I thought I'm going to start colouring this in for her, the papers. Quite nice. I don't know if it'll take water. But I might try some watercolours on it and see how it goes. I mean, look at him. She loves Peter Rabbit. So I might just start with this little one, which is um, a smaller version of the big one, and uh, pop it in. I like this because you've got some of the in here, so you know what they look like. But she does love Peter Rabbit. So yeah, it's very nice. So yeah, I thought I'm reading with pugs. It's just I love I love Charles on Toys Art. It's beautiful. Scary to colour. Oh, beautiful. Now the last book I got is nothing to do with Halloween. It is Christmas, however. But it is the beauty of horror, Christmas ghosts. 
Now this is the only one of the Beauty of Horror series I didn't have other than the tarot cards which I want to get. Um, Holiday Spooktacular. I love these because you can actually take them out and frame them. You've got little palette swatches there. Create your own. Not big on that but oh look at this. Love them. I love the, the skeletal ghostly Santa and presents. I think this is a uh, <laughs> I just love his art. You'll see that I've coloured one picture of his in uh, the new book, which you'll see in my completed pages, which I will be filming tomorrow, which for you is today. So those are all the books and supplies that I got in uh, September. I am going to be trying to cut down. I say that every month. Um, I've got no plan on buying any supplies. I've got no vouchers. I've got my car MOT, that's one reason. Um, Christmas is coming, so... But yeah, if you want to see me colour in any of these books or you want to flip through, leave a comment down below and I will happily do that for you. I will be back tomorrow with another video which will be my completed pages for September. Not sure how many are, 2022, something like that. That's a good, good amount. A lot of patterns again, lot, uh, a few colour by numbers again. But I do like doing them, they're easy to do and they're relaxing in the evening when it's late and I'm too tired to think about anything else. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.